We have yet another solar storm warning. A stream of particles from the sun is to lash at our Earth and impact time is predicted. This is the latest on space weather. Forecasters bracing for a stream of particles from the sun lashing to our planet and they've warned of potential solar storm activity later this week. A stream of solar wind possibly headed our way, carrying with it charged particles from the upper reaches of the sun's atmosphere and the fast moving stream it was detected after a giant hole appeared in the star's southern hemisphere. These so-called coronal holes are regions in the sun's coronal upper atmosphere where the plasma is considerably cooler and less dense than the surrounding areas. And according to U.S. space agency NASA, solar winds typically reach speeds between 1 and 2 million miles an hour. The stream possibly headed our way is expected to strike Thursday, according to astronomers behind space weather. And if it happens, the interaction between Earth's magnetic field and the material from the sun could trigger an array of solar activity and geomagnetic unrest, that is, solar storms. Space weather said today a stream of fast-moving solar wind could hit Earth's magnet magnetic field December 16. This gaseous material is flowing from southern hole in the southern uh, the sun's uh, atmosphere, polar geomagnetic unrest and arctic auroras, northern lights that is, are expected when this wind arrives. And depending on their severity, solar storms can have a wide array of impacts on our planet and according to space weather, solar storms are ranked at a scale of G1, which is minor, to G5, which is extreme, with the latter being the most dangerous, of course. Minor storms can result in weak power grid fluctuations and have a minor impact on satellite operations. Weak storms are also known to confuse some migratory animals and can produce auroras at high altitudes. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. But as their severity increases, so does their potential impact on terrestrial and orbital technology. A G3 strong storm, for example, can lead to surface charging on satellites and drag many increase, uh, may increase on uh, low Earth orbit spacecraft as well. Now, at the far end of the scale, extreme storms can cause entire power grids to collapse and transformers may experience damage. Also, satellite degradation is degraded and uh, low frequency radio signals can be blocked for hours at a time. Space Weather said, during storms, the currents in the ionosphere as well as the energetic particles that precipitate into the ionosphere add energy in the form of heat that can increase the density and distribution of density in the upper atmosphere our atmosphere, that is, causing extra drag on satellites in low Earth orbit. They said the local heating also creates strong horizontal vi variations in the ionosphere's density that can modify the path of radio signals and create errors in the positioning information provided, of course, by GPS. While the storms create beautiful auroras, they also can disrupt navigation systems such as Global Navigation Satellite System, GNSS, and create harmful geomagnetic induced currents in the power grid pipelines. Space Weather said, today, no G1 minor or greater geomagnetic storms are expected. No significant transient or recurrent solar winds featured um, on this forecast. So this is expected to hit us on the 16th. This is by Sebastian Kedley, Express UK.